What's up everybody? It's time now to talk about mental health. I've wanted to do videos similar to this for a while, but I just haven't got around to it and had the time or felt up to it. But as today is the World Mental Health Awareness Day, I thought it's a perfectly good time to do it. There seems to be a stigma around mental health and all aspects of it, so depression, anxiety, bipolar, all sort of spectrums on to do with mental health. But I think these days there doesn't really need to be that because more people suffer with it now than ever and it's just sort of people need to get into the the habit of accepting what they have and sort of going with it and not be shy about it and not be embarrassed or anything like that. Last year I had a bit of a breakdown and suffered really badly with depression. I was off work for quite a few months and obviously went to the doctors to see about it and they just sort of they put us off on the sick and that was about it. I had to I had to go back towards the end of the year after being off for sort of quite a few months and they put me through to talking changes and it was over a hundred days I had to wait before getting into them. But it seemed to fall at the sort of the right time when I started talking changes and the doctors also prescribed me with some tablets. So I was on 50 milligram of sertraline. I was still having some issues with sleeping and sort of everything going in my mind and having those bad days more than good days. And obviously talking to talking changes was it was quite i don't know it, it helped to figure out trigger points and what things affected my depression and made it worse and when i was having a good day what was i doing when that was happening when i was having a bad day what happened and i also had my tablets put up to 100 milligrams and that sort of helped with the sleep a bit better but I was still having more bad days than good days so I'd gone back to them and got prescribed 150 milligrams which is quite a large amount but it seemed to sort of help a bit better so I was sleeping a bit better and my general mood was a bit more elevated so there's just sort of trying to get on with life and for me the hardest part was just trying to get out of bed in the morning I was struggling just to get awake and get out of bed and get the motivation and energy just to do something even if it was just to come down to watch TV I just I couldn't do it so it was just so hard just trying to get in to get back into a routine to make myself get out of bed and actually do something otherwise I would just stay in bed all day and then obviously I've been there all night and I'm sleeping during the day I can't sleep on a night so it's just sort of knocks up your routine completely I think for me probably the best thing that's helped me get through it all is rah rah because without her I'd I don't even know where I'd be or what I'd be doing I think one thing which was quite good was in the past she's also suffered with mental health so she could see where I was coming from and exactly what was like so if I was in bed all day it wouldn't be constituted as lazy it would be you're having a bad day and she'd understand because she's gone through the same as well and obviously had the same and shit happens, sometimes you have bad days, sometimes you have good days but even her sort of coming in, dragging me out of bed to do things and sort of making a list of say get up, make yourself a cup of coffee, have something to eat that sort of thing has just helped immensely and obviously doing the same for her because I know exactly how it is 
So when she's having a bad day, it's a case of saying, right, pack some shit up, we're heading out, gonna go do things that we like, so go to the beach or go to the arcades or even just getting out of the house just for a drive or a walk, it's, it's something to sort of take your mind off things and get you out there. A few years ago, I wanted to sort of express how mental health feels in an image format. Obviously we're doing the photography stuff, I did this mental health project and I was getting people in who suffered with mental health and we sort of sat down together and discussed ideas and different visions for photographs which we would take and it's a visual interpretation of how it feels on a daily basis or a weekly basis or however often the, the sort of have your bad days of how you feel so we're doing just plain black and white shots with just simple lighting just to sort of to get the point across of how it actually feels to live with mental health and have that sort of thing I did quite a few shoots with this but it sort of it took a back seat lately well probably for about a year or so I haven't really done anything with Obviously when I had the breakdown last year, I just, I didn't even want to get out of bed, let alone do any pictures. So it's just trying to get back into the rhythm of things and start up the project again. And I've wanted to do a self-portrait version of it for a while, just so I can be in the, the project as well. But it's just, again, getting that motivation and energy to do it. I've got some ideas in mind for what I want to do to try and sort of show how I feel sometimes but getting them done is just it's another thing so I think just to end the video is just to sort of say anyone out there who suffers with mental health just know that everyone at one point in their life would be the same and suffer the same and also feel the same sometimes you have shitty days and sometimes you have good days but just know that everyone possibly everyone is in the same boat and will feel at least that way once in their lives so don't be ashamed about it don't be sort of shy about it just speak to someone it's the best thing you can do talk to someone, talk to her about it and just sort of get things off your chest and it seems to be much better. And also I'm hopefully going to be doing the mental health project again soon because I'm sort of in the same position I was last year where I'm a bit down and out as I saw from the probably last video about selling all the camera equipment it's just sort of getting in a rut and not enjoying it, not wanting to do it, so there's something needs to be done and something needs to be changed. But yeah, I think with when I get the new stuff then I'll see the mental health project will be spot on to to do with that. So thumbs up for those who have watched all the way through at the end and it'd be great if you could leave your comments below and just sort of even if you just share your experiences of mental health and how you've dealt with it and that sort of thing. And I know it's a bit different from the photography stuff, but I thought I'd put it out there because being a photographer is quite a lonely job and a lonely thing to do because you're just there sort of, especially people who take landscape pictures and things, you go somewhere, usually on your own, to take pictures it's quite lonely but you know like at the end of the day this is what it is if you suffer with mental health then like I said earlier the best thing to do is to talk to someone and also just sort of if you need to then get some medication to help I know me I don't want to be on it for the rest of my life but and at the same time it's it does seem to be helping so I want to get to a point where 
I can sort of manage with the medication, take that medication back down from 150 milligrams to 100, then down to 50, and then be away with it completely and be able to function and live life normally. Because at the minute, I do live a normal life, but there's a lot of times when, again, no motivation, no energy, so got all these things I want to do with the kids and things like that and I don't have I don't have the motivation to do it it's quite hard just to sort of to take them out and do things and play games with them and I don't want that I want to be sort of there and doing things with them and, and making memories with them So yeah, bit of a spontaneous video for today. So again, if you've not subscribed to the channel, it'd be great if you could give it a subscribe, especially if you're sort of into photography and video, because that's what the majority of my videos are. And until next time, ciao for now.